Hello, thanks for checking out my video on Andy. It's hard to believe, but I've actually had Andy with me now for a whole entire year. Andy was shipped to me by the aviary in a box, and uh, he was making all sorts of cute sounds as soon as I got him in the car and it was quiet. <laughs> it's pretty easy to see why the ladies at the post office were pretty much infatuated with Andy, even though they never got to see him. When I ordered Andy from the aviary, they said it was going to take anywhere from three to seven days for Andy to show up uh, due to shipping, and he showed up two days later. So <laughs> well, the only thing I had available for him was my little parakeet Strat's old cage, which was way, way too small for Andy. That's a very good question, Andy. Uh, let's tell the story of how you got your name. You really didn't seem to like that little tiny cage, and so you pretty much just were in that corner trying to dig your way out as soon as you got in there. So the next day at work, I told the guys that you were trying to dig your way out and trying to Shawshank your way out of there. To which one of the very clever guys at work, Michael, said, well, that's it. His name should be Andy. And it just seemed so appropriate and fitting that it stuck. As a bonus, since we don't really know if you're a girl or a boy until you get a black ring around your neck or not, Andy could be spelt with a Y or an I. So it worked. So of course, to make it official, I had to get a poster of Rita Hayworth and hang it up next to your home. That was a good question, but let's get back to our story about Andy and what happened once he arrived here. Andy's real home arrived the very next day. After I built it and set it up with some of the toys that I purchased for him at this point, he eventually got into the cage, but still was uh, pretty skittish and scared for a little while. Later. It took some time, but eventually Andy started to seem a little bit more comfortable. He was playing with his toys, checking them out, munching on his food, and that sort of thing. As long as I wasn't anywhere near the cage, I should say. Because any time I got near the cage, he would go as far away from me as humanly possible. Or birdly possible, in this case. So to build this trust, I sat by his cage for hours, uh, reading emails from work, um, reading anything out loud that I could find, uh, just talking to him, and that's uh, when I determined that the stupid high-pitched voice actually seemed to work better. And plus doing a lot of what's called target training, uh, building trust, feeding Andy some snacks, and as it turns out, apples were the favorite at this point, for sure. To eternity later. So here's the payoff for all that time, effort, and work. <laughs> uh, Andy's very first time of coming out of the cage. Pretty fun. Come here. Hi. What you doing? Yeah, you can step on that. It's okay. Come here, little bird. Andy, come here. Yes, that's for you. And once again, I apologize for the ridiculously silly high voice, but it works. Yeah, birdie. Here you go. Oh, it's okay. Here you go. Even though we made some progress, uh, that didn't mean everything was perfect. Uh, Andy still bites me, uh, even today. So despite the bites and uh, occasional frustrations, uh, without a doubt, he is worth it. He is just so cute and fun. Uh, in fact, uh, so cute, his first word was peekaboo, of all things. And also just as cute, his favorite thing in the world is the toy ball. So here's Andy playing peekaboo with his toy ball. Oh, you're playing peekaboo. Playing peekaboo with your ball, buddy? Oh, that was good. That was good, Andy. Very good. Oh.
<laughs> so the peekaboo and the heart wings, yes, I think Andy really does love his toy ball. In fact, he might really love it, which is also part of the reason why I call him a he. But then, tragedy struck. And Andy was not a happy bird. <laughs> Andy was very, very upset. Poor little buddy. Aww. Did you miss your ball, buddy? Two hours later. My poor little buddy. But thanks to the magic of Amazon and Amazon Prime, I was able to get a new ball in just two days. Hey, good landing. Good landing, little bird. Oh, you got a big ball. Hello, big ball. Shake it, Andy. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. And throw it. Another of Andy's favorite things definitely was the lamp. He would climb on it, fly around it, and have a really good time in general. Come on, bust a flying move, little bird. Let's see it. Awesome slow motion flying. Nice. Andy was so comfortable up on the lamp, he would actually sing himself to sleep and make all sorts of awesome noises while just sitting there getting ready to take a nap. Which is just, I mean, come on, that's adorable, right? Right? But then, once again, tragedy struck. Poor Andy's beautiful lamp just collapsed. The good news is, Andy wasn't on it, so he's alright. Fortunately, this happened right around his observed birthday of April 20th, and so I got him an actual play stand for birds. He loves it, and the toys, and the swing, and everything, and when he's out, um, I'll sit with him for hours as he plays on it, which is a good thing. Now, you might have noticed I'm calling Andy a boy. He actually has a couple of black feathers that are starting to grow in, at the place that the rings show up on boy Indian ring necks. So it's a possibility that Andy is a boy and he'll have a full ring at some point. And yes, you're damn cute, Andy. Thanks for watching our video today. Uh, sorry that it was so darn long, but there's been a lot going on in the first year of Andy being with me. And Andy thinks you as well. In fact, here he is trying to give you a kiss. Okay, let's just be honest. What he's really trying to do, he's just trying to bite you. Thanks again for watching.